Well, joining me today on the Out of Character interview are an Italian steampunk band. I believe they are Italy's first steampunk band. Uh, I had the pleasure of meeting them two months ago in Tucson, Arizona, at the last show we got to do before all the concerts were canceled and we were all quarantined. Uh, so it is a pleasure and a privilege to welcome to Streaming the Steam from the band Poison Garden, Anais, and Paolo. Hey, how's it going? Hi. Hi, John. How are you? How's it going? I'm good. Uh, how, how are you doing? We're fine. We're dealing with this uh, weird quarantine, but we're still fine. <laughs> yeah, well, it's good to see you, and I'm glad you're doing really well. I know it was really crazy uh, right before uh, you had to fly back from Tucson when we did the show. Nobody was really sure what was happening because that was right around the time that Italy went completely on lockdown. And... Um, you, I guess, just managed to get back in time before everything was shut down. Yes, we, ju we just managed. We were on the razor's edge uh, because we were inside the aircraft when we heard the news that Italy was locked down. We managed to have uh, this uh, information from our relatives here in, uh, in Italy and they told us that Italy was going locked down, really locked down. And we were inside the aircraft and we were like, oh my God, uh, what will we do when we arrive, when we land in Rome? Uh, and what, then we landed and uh, we had to sign a certification in order to get back home. Because otherwise, if you don't sign this, this paper, if the police stops you, they will give you a fine. So it was weird. We came back and uh, we had to sign all these papers and we were like, oh my God, what's happening in this world? <laughs> Wow. Well, I'm, I'm really glad you made it back on time and safely, and I'm glad you're doing really well uh, even now. Um, why don't you introduce the audience to Poison Garden and talk a little bit about what your music is like and what you, what you do? Well, we are, as you explained before, we're the first Italian steampunk band, and uh, we play kind of a rock steampunk music. Our upcoming album will be called uh, Army of Dreamers and will be out uh, in the following months. It depends on when the, this uh, weird period will, uh, will end. Right. <laughs> and uh, it's an album about uh, fighting for your own dreams. Uh, that's uh, the main concept which, uh, which is included in the album. And Paolo, do you want to add something else? Well, yeah, uh, we're a rock-based band in Italy. Uh, we have played uh, around uh, Italy, Europe, and now, thankfully, also uh, in the US. That was a, a fantastic experience, actually. We were very, very lucky to come back to Italy, arriving with just the last flight available. So it was a bit of a, an adventure, but uh, in the end, we made it, and we hope to play very, very soon again around the world. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I hope you get to come back over here again. And it was such a, a great uh, privilege getting to perform with you uh, on your, your trip over here. It was really nice getting to meet you. Uh, I really enjoyed the show, and I enjoy your sound. It sounds like you are influenced by uh, different things, like obviously rock and some, uh, some metal influences. And there's a, a little bit of orchestral symphonic uh, elements in there as well. It's, it's a really nice sound. I enjoy it. Thank you very Thanks. much. That Thank we you. We got some uh, orchestra elements uh, in our music, yeah. I'm glad that you noticed that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, a big fan of orchestral elements in music. So, I guess uh, I, I'll mention that we recently got to collaborate on a song together, uh, a song that Poison Garden wrote and, and collaborated with various steampunk musicians from around the world, including myself and uh, I know Robert from Abney Park and some others, but... Uh, you, you obviously know a lot more about it, so why don't you uh, talk about this song? Well, uh, during this weird uh, period of quarantine, we um, imagined that it could be uh, good to make a song all together and to show some, some kind of a community, so a sense of community. So we decided to call some guests uh, to realize the song with us. And uh, we uh, wrote this song with this, um, thinking about a sense of uh, humanity and community. And uh, it was really, really um, nice to collaborate with all those artists all around the world because it, it, for me it was the first time um, I had the opportunity to work with uh, so many artists on the same song. 
um, so many artists located in so many different nations uh, working all together for uh, one aim and it was really really cool and since this is a very um, difficult moment for all of us we uh, thought that it could be uh, nice to um, devolve all the um, all the earnings from this song to the um, to, to the international red cross so to make uh, some charity uh, this is the main aim of this song and uh, it will be out in the following uh, days uh, in the middle of may paolo do you want to add something about our song it is a very ambitious project and uh, we're very proud to be uh, starting this collaboration between ar artists and musicians around the globe and uh, uh, I think it turned out really really good uh, the both the music and video so hopefully uh, you'll see very very soon on uh, medias and uh, YouTube and whatnot Awesome. I'm really looking forward to seeing it and hearing the finished song. It was really a, a pleasure getting to be involved in it and um, really nice as well knowing that the profits from the song will be donated to help with coronavirus relief. So absolutely a pleasure absolutely. to be a part of that. Do you have anything else you want to mention as far as ways that fans and people can support you? Because obviously, just like all other musicians, right now you're just stuck at home there are no concerts so how can people help to support you financially right now basically it would be very cool if people could support us for example by buying our merch we do have a, a merch website uh, which is called the www.darkmerch.com slash poison garden there you can find uh, all our merchandise, uh, you can find our previous album, our, our maps, uh, iPad cases, for example, necklaces and everything which is uh, related to, to our uh, merchandise. And um, I would uh, ask the people that are following uh, your, your show if they can uh, maybe give us a feedback about the idea of doing a live stream concert because we were wondering about doing this since it's not possible to to tour in the in this moment and we we were so, we were thinking uh, why not but we need to know we, we need to have kind of a feedback so if anyone of you guys watching this show would like to send us a feedback on our instagram page or facebook page or any other so social media it would be cool for us to see if um, there is someone over there wanting to to see a live a live stream concert of poison Guy. <laughs> I think it would be a great idea. I'm, I'm planning to do a live stream concert, too, and a lot of others. I know Abney Park did one recently that was very successful. Um, so it seems like the, the best way to connect to an audience and still perform right now. Yes, yes. And we are curious to know if our fans would appreciate that. Thank you so much for joining me. It's so good to see you again, uh, Anais and uh, Paolo. And sorry, Damiano couldn't make it today, but... Uh, I'm glad to know that he's doing well and that, that you're all healthy and staying safe during this uh, crazy time. And uh, hopefully we will get to see each other again in person before too long. But until then, it's been such a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining me on the show. I look forward to seeing the song. I'll be sure to share it with everyone and uh, post all the links to your things. So thank you so much, uh, Poison Garden, for joining me on Streaming the Steam. Thank you. Thank you, John, for having hosted us. And uh, I take the occasion to thank all the artists uh, that have uh, collaborated in our project. Um, so you, first of all, and all the other international artists that have accepted. Let's hope we can play together soon. Maybe we can. one day we will be on stage and we will be performing our song on stage. <laughs> that would be great. I hope that gets to happen sometime soon. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. Cool. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Stay safe. Thank you. you too.